Archaeopteryx. If you love to fly but hate having to be sat next to random strangers, then this invention may be perfect for you. The Archaeopteryx is a single-seat glider that allows you to take flight all on your own. No airport needed. It began development in 1976 by the Swiss company Ruppert Composite, but it wasn't revealed to the public eye until 2010. The Archaeopteryx, named after a prehistoric fossil that caused controversy among scientists, is technically a hand glider, so you don't even need a pilot's license to operate one. All you have to do is assemble the glider, which takes 10 minutes, find the nearest cliff, gain some momentum as you run and take off. But be careful. You may not need a pilot's license, but training is certainly recommended. It has a wingspan of 44 feet and can potentially reach up to speeds as high as 81 miles per hour. This glider is so advanced that it actually offers multiple takeoff modes, so if running isn't your thing, don't worry. You can attach an engine, do a bungee launch, or even tow it with a car or another plane. There's several models of Archaeopteryx, but none of them are cheap, so if this is something you're interested in, you may need to have some deep pockets. Model prices range from $58,000 to $82,000. It may be expensive, but the experience of flying one of these is absolutely priceless. Ono Motion Navigating dense, urban areas can be a difficult task for all types of delivery drivers. Be it your pizza or your mail, you don't want to have to wait because the driver was held up in traffic. Ono Motion feels the same way. That's why they've developed Ono. This e-bike is able to quickly navigate the city streets while being able to hold as much cargo as your typical delivery van. The idea was to not only make life easier for delivery drivers, but to lower the impact delivery companies have on the environment when driving around town. In October of 2020, they released Ono, and several companies such as Hermes, DPD, and Tia have begun implementing the bike into their daily routine. The Ono bike is ready to use in all types of weather, as the driver is shielded by top-tier weather protection technology. The companies can also track the bikes due to the fact that they're all equipped with GPS tracking and RFID chips. And there's no need to worry about stopping for gas. The Ono comes with a swappable battery that's easily put in whenever the old battery needs to be recharged. This lowers down time caused by typical delivery van and truck maintenance immensely. Ono will absolutely cut costs and wait times when it comes to delivering products in urban atmospheres, and I think we can all agree that this not only benefits the customers, but the companies that utilize Ono as well. Schwieb Racer If you're a New Zealand local or a frequent visitor of the area, then this next one may sound familiar. The Schwieb Racer is a monorail racetrack located in New Zealand's Velocity Valley. Created in 2007, the Schwieb Racer allows users to challenge their friends and families to high-speed race through the gorgeous scenery. How does it work? You simply get into the bullet-shaped pod, laying on your back, and activate the machine by using its pedal system. Similar to a bike, but a lot more thrilling. You're dangling in the air as you pedal your way to victory in the world's only monorail racetrack. The pods even swing freely from the rail, so expect to swing through the air as you make sharp turns and hit corners. This is a must-see for those who want to get their adrenaline pumping. Not a thrill seeker? That's okay. With the pedal system, you choose just how fast or slow you want to take your Shui Bracer. So, if you're not in the competitive mood, you can just stroll along the trail with a loved one and take in all the sights Velocity Valley has to offer. If you're planning a trip to New Zealand anytime soon, be sure to put this on your list of things to do. And it doesn't even matter the weather. The Shui Bracer is protected by a sturdy metal roof, so these pods are in use no matter the weather, season or temperature. With the ability to go up to 45 km per hour, this is one ride you won't want to miss out on. Pod Bike Making sure to lower our carbon footprint and help save the planet is something many people care about. That's why Pod Bike has proven to be so popular and folks eagerly await for it to hit the streets of Europe. It has the best of both worlds when it comes to bike riding and driving a car. There's no gas or engine to take care of, and you won't have to worry about spreading exhaust fumes wherever you go. But riding a bike isn't exactly the best option for others either. What about when it rains, or how dangerous bike lanes can be? That's where Pod Bike has you covered. This dome-like bike protects you from the elements and any other potential obstacles that may get in your way. It even comes with lights and indicators so others on the road will be able to see you coming, 
lowering the risk for any potential collisions. Safety is important, but how comfortable could an invention like this be? The answer? Very. It has in-unit heating for those cold nights and an incredibly cozy interior. So cozy that one may not feel like controlling the pod bike themselves, and that's okay. It comes with an autonomous mode that will move the bike at 6 km per hour, similar to a human being's walking speed, so you can relax and let the pod bike do all the work for you. Nothing like the pod bike has ever been done before, and it may not be long until we see them filling up the streets in lieu of cars. The current expected price for one of these is over €6,000, but as the time and technology march on, it may become more easily accessible to the public. Would you ride in a pod bike? Let us know in the comments section below. Ata. If you have a need for speed, you may want to pay close attention to the next item on our list. Setting out to create the fastest bike on Earth, Ata was developed by the Aero Velo company in 2013, and needless to say, they accomplished it. The bike broke the ground speed record of 83 miles per hour by reaching 89 miles per hour with Ata. All Ata needs is one human to power it and it can reach highway level speeds from that alone. Ata is able to reach such high speeds due to a carefully crafted aerodynamic design that leaves it just lightweight enough that it can speed down a stretch of land without the driver losing control. In fact, creating lightweight and aerodynamic designs is the goal of AeroVelo, hence the name, believing that the more human-powered vehicles could benefit from implementing aerodynamics into their initial blueprints. Without a driver, the Ata weighs only 25 kilograms and has ultra-thing 650c clincher tires. All this leaves it with a fuel efficiency equivalent of 9,544 miles per gallon. Ata has proven itself so powerful that every year teams across the world gather in Battle Mountain, Nevada and race through a 5-mile stretch of land, hoping to beat the current record Ata holds. Like all great inventions, the Ata is constantly going through new upgrades and improvements. Who knows, maybe in a few years' time, the Ata will be able to hit over 100 miles per hour. Pretty impressive for a device whose only source of power is the human inside pedaling it. The Scubster Pedal-driven devices aren't just for the road or even the sky. In fact, the Scubster proves that you can take these human-powered devices just about anywhere, even the ocean. Designers Minlock Trong and Stephanie Rousson developed the Scubster in the south of France with a team of engineers from a local university. All you need to do to send this invention into the depths of the sea is pedal. In fact, it can even reach speeds up to 6.2 miles per hour. The control panel in the Scubster's interior allows the driver to control its direction, while the dual blades attached to its sides will propel the machine forward. The Scubster was first taken out for a test drive in 2010, where it successfully submerged into the water and made its maiden voyage. So, what's the goal the team behind this pedal-powered machine had in mind? Well, they hope that the Scubster becomes something of a toy. That's right, you heard correctly, a toy. They hope that wealthy families, ones with yachts, will purchase their own Scubsters so their children can freely explore the ocean to their heart's content. Since the vehicle is only equipped to go about 20 feet under the water, which isn't great for exploring, it makes sense that this device is seen as more of a plaything rather than something to be used for actual scientific research. If you're afraid of drowning, there's no need to worry. The Scubster's interior is pressurized so no water can get in, and just in case of an emergency, it comes with an oxygen tank and mask so you can swim freely. Would you feel safe riding one of these? Let us know! Atlas Helicopter AeroVelo, the development company that created Ata, is back at it again, but this time they're not sticking to the road. No, they're flying high into the skies with the Atlas helicopter. Bigger than most commercial aircrafts, the Atlas is powered by four turbines that are powered by, you guessed it, pedals. So how many humans did it take to power something so big? Just one. This was proven when the Atlas took flight in June of 2013 when it won the AHS Igor I Sikorsky Challenge and took home the cash prize of $250,000, which is the third largest sum of money to be given away in an aviation competition ever. During its flight, this revolutionary helicopter reached an altitude of over 3 meters. Not to mention, it was able to stay in the air uninterrupted for over 64 seconds. This was so impressive that it actually broke the endurance record for human-powered helicopters. Similarly to the design of Ata, 
Aerovelo knew that success would come from the invention's initial design, and that making it as aerodynamic as possible would ensure its ability to take flight. This invention made history not only for Todd Reichert and Cameron Robertson, the founders of Aerovelo, but also for the human-powered aircraft industry as a whole. One has to wonder just what record Aerovelo will break next with their future projects.